What's going on guys and welcome back to Project Cars. Today I'm going to be looking at the newest DLC, the Renault Sport Pack. We start off with the first car, the Formula Renault 3.5. This is basically a Formula 1 car. It's a Renault, um, obviously, it's the Renault Pack. They're all Renaults, apart from the free car which gets to the end. Yeah, this, this is an okay vehicle. Um, a little bit understeery compared to, you know, compared to like the Formula A, Formula B cars, things like that. This is a little bit understeery, um, a bit weird really, it's actually not the nicest thing to drive. It, um, it's not bad, sounds pretty cool, um, and all that jazz, but, um, you know, it just, it's, it's quite understeery for a Formula, Formula 1-ish style car, and I don't know, I mean, it's not bad, I may use it a bit more, I don't know, I don't really play much Project Cars anymore, I will be honest, but, um, all round, it's not terrible. I just think the Formula A and all that are a little bit better. Next up is the Renault Sport RS01. Um, I have seen this car in one other game, Drive Club. I've driven it in that. It was very fast. It was in the, um, I think it was fourth place, third or fourth place in my top ten fast supercars videos. Um, yeah, this thing is pretty fast. In Drive Club, it drives like a machine. It's just ridiculous and it feels really fast. In Project Cars, it actually doesn't feel as fast. I think it is. I just don't know what it is. Drive Club has got a ridiculous kind of sense of speed, um, which Project Cars doesn't really have. I mean, Drive Club's just ridiculous. The sense of speed you get in that game is amazing. Whereas, I guess that's the only other game I've driven in, it felt crazy. Project Cars doesn't have that same sense of speed, so it didn't feel as good. Once again, like the Formula Car, a little bit understeery. Um, not too bad to drive, but yeah, just a little bit understeery, and the brakes weren't actually as good as I expected. The Renault Alpine A442B is next, and this is a odd vehicle. It is in, I believe, the prototype class, so the same class as LMP1 cars, uh, you know, things like that. Um, and yeah, it's it's an interesting car. As you can see, the design of this is well, that's it's it's interesting. Um, it's a very odd looking car. It was, I think the year was 1978. It's, it's in the 1970s when this car was made. Um, and it's an interesting car. This thing, however, um, is quite twitchy. Quite twitchy to drive, especially when, uh, when just, you know, driving straight away off cold tyres. Quite, quite twitchy. Um, you, there is a bit of, um, it's, this is actually kind of a mix between oversteer and um, understeer, if you really chuck it, it'll oversteer, um, but then it has a bit of, I think it has off power understeer, which isn't great. Um, next up, Renault Megane Trophy V6, pretty cool car this, um, if I like any Renaults, uh, Renaults are known for making hatchbacks and stuff, personally, not really the biggest fan of Renaults, um, uh, or French cars in general, for that matter, but, um, yeah, the Renault Megane is not a bad car, this is the trophy version, so this is kind of the race uh, version, the touring car, uh, and it's a V6, which is in the name, if you didn't already know, um, but yeah, I mean, this isn't a bad car, um, drives fairly well, once again though, quite understeery, I think we're finding something out with Renaults, they're all rather uh, understeery, um, I believe this would be front wheel drive, not sure, not 100% sure on that, but I'm guessing it's front wheel drive. I didn't actually check on the stats, but um, yeah, I'd I'd imagine. I mean, maybe they. I, I'm pretty sure the Renault Megane stock is front wheel drive. They may have converted it for the race version. I don't know. The Renault Megane RS275 Trophy R is the next car, and this is definitely kind of the boring car of the pack. Let's be honest. All the others have been race cars and stuff. This is just a road car. I mean, we've seen this car in, we've seen this car in Drive Club as well, in the hot hatches. Uh, in Drive Club, actually not a bad hot hatch, one of the faster ones. But, um, yeah, in Project Cars, with the sense of speed not being fantastic, like I said, in comparison to Drive Club anyway, it's a bit of a boring car. I mean, hot hatches, just in Project Cars in general, not the most exciting of things. There's not many, um, I can't even think of any others off the top of my head. I mean, I think the Focus about it, that's all I can think of. Um, but yeah, it's it's a bit boring this car. Once a Gwen once a Gwen? Once a Gwen. Okay. Um quite understeery. Uh did get a little bit of smoke off the first few corners, but um 
that was that you just get that from road cars. And finally, this is the free car of the month, free car 7 or 8, I can't even remember now, the Radical RXC Turbo. Um, yeah, this, this is a bit weird really. This car, I didn't know it was a road car when I first saw it. This is a road A-class car, so it goes with, you know, like McLaren P1, um, Aerial Adam, all them sort of vehicles that I've been doing on Supercar Showdowns. I may do a Supercar Showdown on this car, not sure yet, because it is a bit weird. I expected this, being a radical, you know, it looks like a, tr I mean, I thought it was a track car. Um, it looks like a track car, but it is a road car. I would have thought, you know, pretty decent speed, not too much speed, because, you know, these 10 don't, don't have too much speed, they're pretty light, um, but very good handling. However, that wasn't really the case. It was, once again, it was quite understeery. And I did not expect this from this car. I just didn't, it was very grippy. You could not get it sliding. But it was quite understeery again, which I was rather surprised about from the Radical. Anyway, that is it for this video, guys. Um, is this pack worth it, the Renault Sport pack? Well, I mean, if you're into Renaults, if you're someone that likes Renaults, um, if there is, are those people out there? There must be. I mean, I don't mind Renaults, they're just not really my sort of thing. Some of these are okay, but, you know, I'll prefer to have a Lamborghini, thanks. Um, yeah, if you're into Renaults, cars like this, go ahead, it's like $5 Australian. I guess it's worth it for that. Um, but if you're not really too bothered, it's not the most interesting of packs. The cars aren't that interesting. A couple of them are cool. Um, they don't really drive particularly well, any of them. They're not the nicest driving vehicles I've driven, so I mean, there are better packs out there, but it's not bad. It isn't terrible. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please go ahead, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.